Well, hello everybody. Uh, as I'm recording this, it is Monday, um, just uh, after 3.30. And uh, this is our last week before we go on to a uh, holiday break uh, for TIA. And I hope everybody's gonna have a wonderful time uh, with family and however it is that you celebrate this time. Stay safe and, you know, of course, it'll be different than the way we would normally do things, everybody, I'm sure, because of COVID-19. But hopefully, everyone will still get some much needed rest and have a great time with their family and the way they celebrate. I wanted to just put a brief word up out there about practice, um, specifically over the break, and then also practice in general. I uh, talked to a few parents um, and students, you know, last uh, couple of days about things like that, and I've uh, had some questions about it. Thought it would be good to put this out, try to keep it brief. Um, First of all, everybody did an awesome presentation uh, Saturday. Really, really, um, I just couldn't be happier about the fact that I know that it's not the way we would choose to do everything and we miss having everybody all under one roof like when we do it at Gloria Day and able to have cookies and you know talk to each other afterwards. That whole community thing just doesn't happen the way we would like it to um, when we do it virtual. But you know, surprisingly, um, things still work pretty well. We still have a little bit of community, people coming in and out, and we had almost 100 students participate on Saturday, which is awesome. We have about 300 students academy-wide, and many, many, many students that have uh, participated via video as well, and I would encourage you to go to our Facebook page and check out those videos. I will try to post them also on our website when I have a chance. Um, it's been super busy, which is a good thing. So, practice. Um, over the break, uh, this is important for myself as well. Um, and all of us teachers, you know, professional musicians that are constantly working on our craft. <clears throat> Most of us will take a week off, I hope, um, and practice all of this week. Next week, when it comes to Christmas Eve, Christmas week, we will, or holiday week, however you want, um, we will take that entire week and just rest and enjoy each other, enjoy our friends, our family, our celebrations, whatever it is that we do. Um, but it is important to have rest and take time off the instrument. I would not suggest, and this goes for me as well, I won't do it either, taking the entire two weeks completely off of your instrument or music, as you will find after two weeks um, that you can actually lose quite a bit here, uh, here, and here on whatever it is that your instrument is. So after about a week uh, of no playing and taking the week off of an rest, um, which is good and healthy, get back on your instrument and do even some, just some basic, run your scales, run some fundamentals. If you're playing, if you're a wind instrument, you know, or a vocalist, maybe just do some nice long low tones and things like that, but, but get back on your instrument and just keep it, you know, under your fingertips and everything like that and stay comfortable, uh, stay in shape and maybe play some simple stuff. Maybe, you know, New Year's, you guys have a family New Year's celebration. Um, maybe play some, I know we've got a bunch of students learning old Lang Syne, it'd be, it'd be quite time to do that. Um, but let's talk briefly about practice in general. First of all, if you're, if you're a parent, um, we ask all of our students to bring in a notebook. Most of our students do, some of our students do not. If you're bringing in that notebook, your teacher should be writing in that notebook what they assign on a weekly basis. Um, I know none of us are perfect, myself included, I may forget sometimes, but most of the times if my student has a notebook, I'm using it. And so you should be able to, as a parent, look in that notebook every week and see what we have assigned. If your student doesn't bring in a notebook, it's very hard to do that. Um, we'll often write inside uh, the inside jacket of a book or something like that if there's space in there, but we can run out. Or maybe we'll write in the top margins of the pages, but again, easier if you have a notebook. Um, but every student, every student should have some fundamental things that are a part of a regular practice routine. For beginning through the first you know, year students, 10 to 15 minutes, uh, three or four days a week would be awesome at practice. For students that are a little bit beyond that, at least 15 to 20 minutes, three or four days a week would be awesome. Students that are you know, more like advanced, absolutely should be practicing at least 20 minutes for uh, three or four days a week and maybe more depending upon the student. And a lot of that's gonna depend on what kind of materials they have to practice. But everyone should be working on their fundamentals for at least about Five minutes, three to five minutes for the younger kiddos. Um, and that means things like scales for most of our instrumentalists and vocalists, things like rudiments for our drum students, right? Uh, after that, everyone should be beginning on their, whatever it is that they have in their curriculum. All of our students, except for our vocalists, have some kind of a curriculum that they're working out of. Piano students will often have multiple books and they should be working on those as well. 
When we have presentations, right, four times a year we do these presentations, we will most often have music that draws upon a specific theme that may not be something covered in their curriculum. And often it isn't, and we do that intentionally because we want to um, expose our students to a diverse array of music. So, for example, here in the wintertime, a lot of us focus on Christmas music because we think it's fun and there's a lot of cool Christmas music. That doesn't mean by any stretch of the imagination that the students during the last couple of weeks should have been just working on Christmas music. Um, unless maybe they really, really needed to focus on it for just a couple of weeks prior to presentation. Most of them would be working on their curriculum and their winter presentation music. So, all that to say... I also have a couple of uh, blog articles on this. If you go to the website and you look at the blog on how to develop a healthy practice routine, but super important, regardless of where you are in your musical journey, almost every student is going to have at least about three to five minutes or more on the fundamentals. Um, and for many of them, if they have a lot more material, that's a lot more. That means our scales, right? Most, a lot of our students are working on their majors, their minors, their harmonic minors, and their melodic minors. And that means working on all of those so we don't forget any of them, right? It's always important to also be in that curriculum and be working on reading their music. Um, super, super, super important here at TIA. Every single student learns to read music. That means reading the notes. That means knowing the names of those notes, not writing them in, but knowing what they are. So when we look at the staff, note by note, we are not figuring out what finger it is. We know what note it is, and our finger knows where to go there if we're talking about piano or some other instrument with fingerings. A little bit different with drums and so forth. But we need to know how to count the rhythms. We need to know how to process those rhythms. It's not just about knowing how it sounds, right? It's about knowing how to get to how it sounds by understanding how to interpret that rhythm. Those are all super important things. Already way too long. But I hope that helps. I, we want your students to be um, as awesome as they want to be. We want them to have fun with music. And the wonder of music and the joy in music and the fun in music is often found in the way that we understand it and are able to play it more. So anyways, thanks so much. Uh, I hope that's helpful. Have a great week and a wonderful break. Thanks for all that you do to help us do what we do in keeping the music going. We'll see you.